Hey guys, and welcome to Balance Session 3. It's It's been a week since I've been here. Um, but... Oh! Oh! It's always technical difficulties, I swear. Alright, so welcome to Balance Session 3. Where we left off last time was in the middle of the day. Um, after... After the events of of finding um, Arbor's dead son. So we're going to continue the journal from the second page of day four. I will, I will read a little bit of, of the, the first page of day four. I sit in silence for an hour or two, attempting to cope with what I just found. I then noticed two strange figures enter an alley nearby. One was carrying an ingot of a metal following the other. I pointed this out to Aristides, and I had Finch alert Egg and Volmir. We grouped together behind Volmir as he was on duty, and in armor. As we walked further into the alley, I could not see anything. It was dark as a moonless night. It was definitely silent. All I knew is that we had come to a stop, and I tried to speak, but I was unable to hear my own voice. As I was trapped in complete unawareness, I saw a light appear behind me. It was passed to me by Aristides. On it stated, none of us can hear, I believe we are under a spell. I wrapped this paper around my staff so I could see again. As I did so, what I saw was Volmir paralyzed in fear, unable to move. In front of Volmir stood a masked being with some form of dark magic. The only thing I could think of was to pick him up and move him away. So that is what I did. As I did, the being vanished and reappeared behind us. Now the figure was right behind Egg, and I thought it would be the last time I ever saw him. Until something deflected the dark magic of this creature. Something about Egg made him resistant to the ma this magic. Now able to speak, I saw Egg casting a spell that I recognized. I knew it would hurt us all. I told him to wait until, I until my say. I ordered Volmir and Aristides to back up, as they are already in bad shape. As they, as they did, I told Egg to cast the spell. As the roar of thunder filled the air around me, I focused on the sound and brought it inward. Charging at the foe with the thunder on my step and staff in hand, I brought, this, I br I brought the staff down and finished this long and aggravating fight. Though I did not see Aristides take his shots, I did notice, while bludgeoning the enemy, a few arrows that made their mark. I hope that he is doing well after the, after the fight. I could not heal his wounds. I could only heal his wounds so much. After the fight, we brought the body to the head of the guard, where we were given the information about the Silent Ones. They are a cult that seems to have been plaguing the city for far too long. The head of the guard told us that we need a group like, like you around here. Thus, a group was formed. While Volmir, Aristides, and I were talking to the head of the guard, Egg went to do research on what we saw at the library. After meeting up again, we caught up on what we learned and rested. And that brings us to today's session. And now I get to unmute everyone. Oh, not, not that. Okay. All right, I'm back. That was a horrible cold read, but it's fine. I, it's not even a cold read. Yeah, it, it's not even a cold read. Yeah, it's not even a cold read because... I said it's, it, that was a horrible cold read, but the fun fact is, it's not a cold read. I wrote that. I should know what it says. <laughs> 
I, 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 I should have read it aloud beforehand because there were some moments where I switched to present tense when it's supposed to be in past tense. So, yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, did we rest? Like, are we in a new day? Please say we're in a new day. Thank you. Okay. Very cool. You didn't take a bath last night? I mean, we rested. You know, I figured... Oh, I'll rinse off in the morning. But uh, I don't, like... Well, I don't, I don't really... Like, like, I don't really fit in a bathtub. <laughs> I I don't think I don't yeah go take your bath let's we have some things to discuss Oh right I should probably be voice acting <laughs> Sorry Hungry uh, um, then we should go to the tavern. Yeah, we'll wait for him. He He's the one who buys the food. <laughs> so... Before we go, though, we do have some things to talk about because we learned a lot of information last time and and we didn't go very much in detail of what we learned. So enlighten us, uh, Snow Egg, oh, Snow, Snowbeard. I don't, I, <laughs> Snow, I forgot. I forgot how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Senyos Keg. <laughs> Can I just call you Snow? Okay. Something, something to do with the silence one, correct? You're taking a bath. I don't know why you're here. You're, 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 you're taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs>
so so we we know of two gods that the silence one seems to be intertwined in okay Yes. That's... So we're gonna have to train. Like, we're gonna have to work together. If we're gonna be a group like the head of the guard says, we're gonna have to work together, and we're gonna have to do it without speaking to each other. Yes. Like like when 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 I absorb elements, when I absorb your elements to power myself up, that should be something that we can communicate with each other without without talking. Yes. Okay. I can do the same. I can do something similar. I can... What what is what does S mean? Is it either is it either or or is it Knowing that I should have probably prepared different spells. I I can I can have an entire set of nonverbal spells. Okay. I I, I do want to keep cure wounds though. Uh I don't think I don't know if we're gonna get into combat with with them again today or not. And I like I like what I have. Uh, I agree. I agree.
So I can... So I... Okay, this is, this is out of character. I can take, um... I, instead of Entangle and Fairy Fire, I'm probably going to take Ice Knife and Snare. Because they don't require they don't require any verbal cues. All right. Oh my god. So, oh, um, hmm. I didn't know we had a performer in our party. <laughs> Apparently so. Why did you, why did you turn into my character? Why did you do the deep voice? Why did it? <laughs> yeah, he's just a very good singer. Yeah. He's also rich. Um. Whew. We. No, you ha no, you have to, you, you have to, you have to sing it. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was a B L E O T. Yeah, the sailors. The sailors, the sailors were singing that on my way in. Yes, or at least they were humming it. I have a question for the DM. Does Egg know it's an island? Doesn't he think it's the world? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's fair, that's fair. Oh wait, I just realized. I forgot to turn There's your audio on. World? I forgot to turn oh, you guys' audio on again. Oh, oh my god! No. It's fine, it's fine. Come to my stream, come to my stream. We don't have any of the scuffed issues going Man, on. Leave, leave me alone! Leave me alone! post. Yeah, we will. I can just steal the audio from, from his stream. Yeah, you can just yeah. steal the audio from my stream. It's chill. It's a good thing we have two streams. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Unless, God, Ryan, are we, are we still listen. muted or something? No, no you're no, good. We're, no, we're good. Like I said, I've been no, doing this too muted. long. If we were right. server muted, okay. I think you... All right, let's get back to it. So, where are shove we? Shove him in a chest and push him out to sea. Shove him in a chest and push him out to sea. Shove him in a chest and put him out to sea. Volmer! In the morning. Volmer. What? Volmer. Are you almost I done? You. Are you almost done? And then, like, I knock open the door, like, uh, like I'm wet, uh, I'm wet, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm, in it. I'm wearing a towel up. How I sing early in the morning. Okay, you're right. It's early in the morning. Hungry. <laughs> okay, Mister Demanding. Um, let's let's talk strategies. Let's talk. Let's talk. Why do we talk strategies when we get into the uh, pub? The pub. I'm a little early I mean for the a tavern. pub. Yeah. I was gonna say, why would we go to the tavern pub? and then we'll discuss our Same, place. Our... <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. <clears throat> Let's discuss our strategies and our future plans over some tea. Why would we? Why don't you? Okay. I'll probably take a water, but okay. Um. He sounds good to me. All right. Well, you're gonna have to wait for one more minute. I don't want to go to the tavern where nothing but a towel. Is it gonna be one minute or is it gonna be five? You just hear you just hear in the background like <laughs> while he's putting his armor on. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was fun. That was good. <laughs> ah, dang it, I, I put the chest piece on backwards. 
It's going to be another four minutes. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a <laughs> My character just pulls out his book. All right. Saw his chest play backwards again. Er er oh! Oh! Aristides, Aristides, yes. are you feeling all right? You took some pretty bad hits in that in that fight. I am just feeling sore. Sore. Understandably Very, so. Yes. There are a few uh, spots where I was hit where I feel like I sometimes can't move too much. Why am I wearing my gloves on my feet? <laughs> Volmer has a I new role. Volmer that. has a new <laughs> role as the comedic relief character. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. How did I put my left foot into the right boot? Volmer, Volmer is going to become the grog of this this campaign. I can feel it. All right. You know, for someone who is part of the guard, he's not very bright. Yeah. He, um... Hold on, I forgot how much gold I have. Why is that um, relevant to our... This is say, such a mess. Some... This is such I'm a rich. mess. I can pay for all you guys. I think I have yeah. eight gold. That's oh only for food. I am I'm really trying hard to stay in character and like actually actually talk and stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where were we? Where were we indeed? You were uh, asking Aristides. How I was feeling. How were and and you were sore. Yeah. And it feels like certain parts of my body I can't move too much without it just aching. Understandably so. When was the last time you were in a fight? Yesterday? Before that, wise guy. I couldn't tell you. When was the last time you trained? Probably when I was 15. So, like, five years ago? Yes, but those were more training exercises rather than full-force fights. Wait a second, this isn't my armor! <sighs> okay. Um... Should I just throw you uh, my robe in there? No, no, I found it. So, last time you were in a, you were training was fifteen years ago. No, it was five years ago. Or five years ago when you were fifteen. Yeah. I'm very tired. I can tell. So am I. It is an early morning for me. It is an early morning for all of us. We have some pretty big stuff ahead of us. And some pretty hard times. Yep. To get rid of the soreness, I recommend that we do some training. I recommend that you go, and Volmer has to know a thing or two about physical training. Maybe ask him. I'll ask him when he's not confused. Then you may be waiting a few days. <laughs> you may be right. Snow. Hear me laugh the corner. Okay, I got everything. Oh prepared. my god. Yeah. Uh, about time. All right. Let us head off to the tavern and. Yeah, it may be early, but I could use a mead after that wait. It is yeah. morning time. Mead. You are not having mead. Fine. We need to be sober for this journey. Yeah, the journey inside for now, the city. At least. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now is right, my friend. Right, so we some... walk to the tavern. Check it some you guys oh. not above it? Uh, wait, where did we stay? Did you mm. not stay at an inn? We, I oh, thought, no, we, I thought we started at the guard camp. Oh, you guys stayed at the guards camp, got it. Because, yes, because... You could, you could walk to, you, you could walk to an inn, you could walk a... to a, there's a mess hall, 
as as we're as we're within walking the garden encampment. As we're walking out, they say, "Hey, Jimothy, you left your armor in my room again." Well, it's your fault. You're always bustling around in my area. You two know each other? This is Jimothy. Hello. We met him uh, last you time. See, you see in front of you uh, a, uh, a stout dwarven man. Uh, <laughs> cheery. Oh, can, I, can, I, can I say something about his appearance? Like, he doesn't have a beard. Uh, he does, but I'll get to the, his beard in a second. Cheery uh, in demeanor. He appears to have a... Um, a morning star in his hand and uh uh just a short sword in the other hand and he Quit. looks like he's moving weapons out to uh training. He's still got a little bit of breakfast on his face. Um <laughs> and you you see uh he has a beard that splits into two braids. On on one of the braids you see a uh essentially a beard ring that caps off the braid that has do any of you speak Dwarvish? Um, Let me check. Um, Let me check. I do not. I know that much. Where would I find this? Uh, this would be in languages known. So no, uh, if you're on Fight Club, you would look in your uh, race for languages and then also in your background. Um, Common and Celestial. And then my... No, I think I only know Sylvan, Sylvan Druidic in common. All right, so none of you know Dorvish. I do not. I definitely. Volmer, do, do you know Dorvish? No. All right. Uh, then what you see on uh, both of them are are both of these braids are capped with um, what look to be like beard rings that have a dwarven rune on each of them, but. Not speaking Dwarvish, you don't know what it says. Give me one moment, I have to let my cat out. Okay. Also, I have no languages in, like, background description. You, uh... You go... Go to the final tab. Go... go. Yeah, to... I have I have languages in ASMR traits, but yeah. none in uh, background. Yeah, Even because you I... didn't choose one with a, with a language. Really? Um... Sage should have a language. Then it's probably got put in his languages. Uh, there's not really a languages tab, but there if you is. have yeah, a it language should say tab. that I know Elvish. Hold on. Uh, um. Yeah, you can just add that. Okay. Listen, Jimothy, I know you're going to be a married man, but you can't just leave stuff all over the place. Who's being married? He, just, out to he do goes. That? He goes. You're lucky you don't have to be a training. Then runs off uh, <laughs> carrying the weapons. <laughs> you know, he's a very good fighter. He's got a hell of a temper, though. But if you know him outside of fights, he's also quite a good guy. Yeah. All right, off to getting something to eat. Yes, please. All right. I'm starving. Where shall we go? I mean, you live here, right? You know where Our the good usual, places are. The usual tavern's always fine. Any objections? None whatsoever, my friend. Balmer? Let's, let's, yeah, let's just head off to the tavern. Alright. So we go to the tavern. So you all go to the tavern. Yes. Uh, you all order your assortments of breakfast foods, um, whatever you'd like uh, within reason. You've all either grown up here or uh, have come to know what to expect. You're wise enough to understand what it is they serve here at Arbor. Um, and so pretty much n knowing that, whatever you all want, I order fish. Available. Fish is available. Yep. I mean, it's a port town. I'd hope fish would be available. Yeah, well, yeah. it's it's a little less available considering that even though it's in the town, it is still a little bit further away than... Uh, 
That's fair. Some port towns would have the docks, but it makes its way. The mm -hmm. uh, Norleth family helps out a lot with that. I guess uh, I will be paying for this. You don't have That's to. up to you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll be paying for this. Uh, how much will this be? Uh, the total comes out to three silver. Three silver, all right. All right. Who knew good food could be so cheap? Wait, hold on a second. Like, uh, how much that is that converted to gold? Because I only have gold. That is so. It's a base ten system. Uh, if you ignore electrum pieces, it's ten copper pieces make a silver piece. Ten silver pieces make a gold piece. Ten gold pieces make a platinum piece. Ten silver pieces make a gold so piece. So you just ten need to pay with make a platinum piece. So you just need to pay with one gold piece? Question mark. And then you'll get seven silver. In order yeah. to get seven silver back, yeah, that would work. Okay, one gold. All right. or Is that for silver. all of us? No, that's just for me. Okay. Yeah, that is that is he pays for your guys' meal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, no need to thank, thank you, me. good sir. I mean, to be fair, you do owe us for making this wave. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You know, waiting for good food isn't well, that bad. Yeah, I know. So it's the appetite. You mistaken uh, humanoid mar uh, armor with dwarven armor. I don't even yeah, know how, how you, you made that? that mistake. I don't know. It really shouldn't. Surprisingly, <laughs> considering it was the chest plate you were messing around with, it's surprisingly similar. Is it actually? Oh, this is out of character, is it? Yeah, it would be relatively similar. <laughs> Interesting. Don't just explain how Most of the it... dwarven mass is centered right in the chest area. Still doesn't explain how he managed to get it on backwards. Twice. That's true. Don't just explain how I got the glove on my poop, on my feet. But yet, the universe finds a way. <laughs> More like you do. I don't, think, I don't think the universe has anything to do with this one. I think that's just your... Personality type. Or maybe the universe is against me. Yes. You stick with your conspiracies however you feel. Anyways. So, Volmbe, about the fight yesterday. Ah, good old Yoskeg. Uh, what do you want to know about me? Hmm. Well, about the fight, sort of. Uh, Volmer, I noticed that you had a little bit of influence over the uh, fear spells that he was casting on you. And by influence, you mean just completely... You were shaking in your boots. Exactly. Your boots. exactly. Now I understand that. Now I understand that having such an embarrassing moment to you happen even when you're supposed to be as tough as an ox and as brave as an eagle during yeah, I your can, duties. I can, I can name an event worse in my life. Do indulge me. How about no? <laughs> Let's dig in oh, a little yes. deep, Snow. Let's dig in a little deep. Fair enough. I want... Uh, there are some ways to help you ease your mind during those times. That I have learned during my studies. Says the man who smokes. <laughs> what of it? As he smokes his pipe. He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't as smoke he, kids. As he am Unless you're a wizard. No, don't smoke kids. He gave I, me a good idea. He brings out his pipe and... I cast Druidcraft, snuff out the flame. <laughs> Uh, what else do I, what do I do? What do I do after that? I don't know. Okay. Dude, it's, this is all improv. I snuff out your flame. And I'm not going to let you smoke inside the tavern. Yeah. Please. You know what? Fair enough. Um, I just give him some of my, um, fillings for my pipe. To, uh, Volma. This will help you calm your nerves during... During the don't, daytime and the nighttime. Don't smoke that stuff. Don't listen to him. That is a bad yeah. idea. 
You should try resting your mind by sitting in a quiet place and thinking. Not. How am I supposed to do with this? I oh, can't. Oh, I, I can't use fire magic. Am I supposed to eat it? Don't. Don't <laughs> just throw it away. Yeah. Just well, then what am I supposed to do with this? Throw it I away. Just take, I, yeah, I just take it back no, from him. Throw it away. I just put throw, it in. Throw it away. He doesn't need it. I just take it back from him and just put you it back in my pack. You take it back. Yeah. Hey, um, Arbor, can I pull you aside for a second? Um, sure. You want to go outside? Anyway, while he's fortified, I just tell him about what Ar Arbor said. He is also correct. Find yourself in a Carlson talk place in mind, remembering all the um, good times you've had in your life and bringing your mind to a sense of peace would help you during this trying time. I mean, I never really a few a deep breaths even would be a little bit of a uh, nice sort of change of pace. A few deep breaths will help you calm your mind even when all else caves in. Just remember, this is all just a trick for him. The more you tell yourself it's just a trick, none of it is real then the more you can counteract the fear spell. Do I know that fear spell... Can fear spells be, like, counteracted by just basically... No, they can't. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Anyway, wait, what? Can you just will... Can you just be like, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real, just... Well, that's like, saving... Oh. That's a saving Fuck. roll. That is a saving throw. Yeah, that's yeah. a saving throw. You have However, to roll it. Not now, but later. There is an ability for fighters. I believe it's called Nominable. Oh, which what? allows you to re-roll a saving throw. That's pretty cool. What's the ability called again? So, Aristides, it shall we... It should be the level 9 ability for a fighter. It's called Indomitable, I believe. Oh, that's going to be wild. Yeah. So, Aristides, hey, shall we take we a walk talking, outside? Yes, so then we cut to Arbor and Aristides. So you wanted so, to pull me aside? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about something. Okay. You... The way you healed me and everyone else in the battle yesterday. Yes. I want you to teach me. So that way, we don't have to just rely on you alone to heal everyone. Alright. I'd be more than happy to teach you. I appreciate that. It's going to be difficult. But I'm more than happy to teach you. I think I've been through worse. Yeah, I think Almost we both have. Near death. Yeah. All right. Uh, out of character real quick. Jason's bugging me to play zombies while we do this. Tell so him no, you, you're if playing you can, If you can successfully continue a coherent roleplay, then I don't mind. Um, yeah, no. I would rather just stay here. No. Then stay here. Yeah. Um, so, Aristides, when shall we start? I am ready whenever you are. What are you two talking about? Jesus! We're talking about this, nature. This would be happening... So, I should stay. This would what be happening say? while... Uh, Sinyoskeg is giving his talk to uh, oh. Volmer. Oh, no. I'm yeah, I'm just. So like I think I think we shall take a little bit of a longer stroll. Okay. Um, is there like a park nearby with nature in it, or is there a field? I can. Yes, yeah, uh, it wouldn't be too hard to. Uh, also, I can just take way. you to the. I can just take you to the field that my parents trained me. That would. Work. I know. I know a field we can go. That to. would be. A you are not walk. here, you guys, Dan. You guys Dan, are. You little... are not here. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you guys are true. not here right now. Um, I am sorry. That would be a bit of a walk <laughs> out to where you got trained. Um, you know what? That yeah, that's fair. You guys are a little closer towards the center of the city here. Uh, mm -hmm. You didn't go very far to get to a tavern um, from uh. where you were already. Okay, so uh, do you know any place with trees 
around around this area. But yeah, there there would be most likely a park nearby. Okay. Uh, while they're doing this, um, would we just would would um, Volmer and I like finish? Well, like let's finish. How long, how long this? Let's finish what we're doing. You two would not <laughs> most likely interact in this uh, scene with. I know we're not going to interact in this scene, oh but I was just going to like while they're done, Volmer and I would like be finished, and I would be just headed to the library somewhere. No, sure. The, uh, okay. Because we already had our breakfast, right? Uh, you guys would have been eating breakfast and then finishing up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, sorry we interrupted. Uh, continue. So um, is there so a place with nature around here? I believe there's a field nearby. Trees. Or is it just um, an open field? It would be it mostly is... trees. It. An open field true. is hard to come across here. Yeah. The my my parents would take me very far off of away from home just to find an open field for me to train in. Did your parents train you anywhere else? My mother, because she is a she's half wood elf, trained me in deeper woods. But she only trained me near our house. Would you like to go there? That seems like a quite the walk. And considering how... You have half a horse. That is fair. But I don't know how exhausted you are after the fight yesterday. I got some stamina left. And if you're up for it, I'm up for it. Okay. So we're going to go to the field that his mother, or the forest that his mother trained him in. Yeah. Um, uh, um, DM? Uh, do I hear any of this? No. So basically what would have happened is uh, you finish up your talk with Sin Sin and he would have basically said, I'm going to the library. You could tag along. You could go train at the barracks. You could do a patrol. Could, like, could I follow Eric and Ryan or no? Uh, probably not. Okay. You could, you could probably, if you chose to do a little bit of a patrol, like your feet just sort of idly had you start patrolling I mean it it's is possible you could have seen them I mean like it is a market like what how about like while I'm also on patrol I'm getting some like rations and other stuff well but they're not training in the market they're going a little outside of the city to train yeah Actually, uh, I guess I'll patrol do a little bit of a patrol okay so, Aristides atop Arbor, you two head out. Uh, it's not the exact location where you were trained by your father or your mother. Mm -hmm. um, however, the woods around the uh, the woods around the city are largely the same. Okay. I um before. We start. I I before we start. Um, I tell Finch and Sylvan to keep a lookout. Send them to the trees. To be a watch out. <laughs> Aristides, you hear these words. These they're almost a sing song as they leave Arbor's mouth. It's different. Usually Arbor has a much um, deeper sort of uh, cadence to his voice, and this is much lighter than you would imagine. Mm -hmm. As he says something to Finch in a language you do not understand, and Finch takes to the skies, monitoring just above the trees, keeping an eye on you. That was... 
not oh. normal than what you normally do to talk to Finch. That was Sylvan. That is the language animals speak. Oh. Yes. So. Interesting. You want to learn magic. Yes. You want to learn my magic. Yes. And first you must understand where it comes from. You are standing okay. atop the very thing it comes from. You're breathing in the very thing it comes from. All around you. So your, your magic comes from nature. Yes. Druids are not guardians of the forest. We are not guardians of nature. We are nature. We enforce nature's will. That is where we draw our energy from. Just as you had memories in locations nearby or in this very spot, these trees have memories of ages long past. You know what they say, trees are alive. And being able to tap into that wisdom and being able to tap into that magic is where you will draw your power. So I want you to okay. sit down and I want you to close your eyes and just focus. You just hear a loud thud. <laughs> just focus on everything around you and empty your mind completely. Like empty, empty, or empty, empty. Nothing. Hold on to something dear to you. Aristides grabs his crossbow. Take a deep breath in. Outstretch an arm. And try your best to obtain the goal of what you are casting. Chris Stevie starts to lose focus because he gets angry. Deep breaths. I'm trying. I understand. It's hard. It's hard to empty your mind. It's hard to purposefully forget everything that you left behind. But you must be able to focus only on the present. And when you focus only on the present, you can then change the future. That is what magic does. Through nature itself, you are acting as the present. So try again. Aristides starts to get more and more frustrated and even starts shedding a tear. I don't know if I can focus. I understand. Right now. A lot of things have happened in the past day. Emptying your mind is a difficult task. There will be moments <laughs> where you cannot do it. That is why I asked you to grab an important item. The item will remind you that everything will be okay. 
that balance will be restored. That what is supposed every, to happen will happen. But every time I've tried to hold something dear to me, like this crossbow, I just get angry because I think of my father and how much I want to kill the dragon that took him. That's understandable. Your pain is heard. By me. It is understood by me. But don't Whether... you feel angry? Don't you feel angry that that damn dragon took your son too? I'm not angry. No. I'm sad. I am upset. I'm not angry. So it's just me. A younger me would have been angry. A younger me who has not known the things I know now. And what I'm going to tell you is your feelings are heard and understood by me. But the problem is they are not heard and understood by you. That's why you must reach deeper. Connect to the things around you. Understand their place in nature and understand their place in the world. Okay. I think I can do this. You know what they say. Third time's the charm. Before you try it this time, allow me to give you a focus. I use Druidcraft to create um, a withering plant that he can heal. Because right now he's trying to cast healing hand without, or healing words, which are healing wounds, sort of wounds, sure wounds uh, without, without having yeah. something to focus on. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to help. Before you focus at this, before you try and do it this time, try and focus on this. And I use true craft and I create a withering plant and I set it right in front of him. Try and heal that. Okay. I see a... Is it working? I see a very faint glow. You're getting there. I told you it's going to be hard. Aristides has a slight smirk on his face. And it becomes a distraction and the flower dies again. <laughs> now. Is it still working? No. You lost focus. Damn it. You're doing great. We've only been at this for a few minutes. Whenever Fair enough. You'll know when you, you do it. You'll know. Okay. A few deep breaths. Okay. You watch the flower as Aristides inhales once again. You can envision in your mind the flower becoming whole again. Becoming what it truly deserves to be. Aristides, you begin to picture what that flower must have looked like as you were making it whole. Think of life, love, and time. 
written on your crossbow. Your fingers brush over it. The druidic runes. Think back to the moment they were written. The wave of anger flows over you again. Damn it. I lost focus. It's fine. It's hard. Question out of character. Do the do the druidic um I want uh, out of character runes. I wanted them to glow if you were to be successful, but I don't know that's if that's gonna be allowed. To ask. I was toying with that idea. <laughs> I'm glad the three of us are on the same page. Okay. Um So it's a closer. How close did I get that time? Very close. Like. It was almost. Alive again? Yes. You must. <sighs> you must think of this specific spell. As. More as surgery right where if you succeed your patient's going to be healed but if you fail they're not they're going to die i think the other reason this is not working is because i physically and emotionally am in a lot of pain. So it's becoming a distraction. I understand. Being in a lot of pain and focusing on anything else besides it can be hard. But when you're in the midst of a battle and you need to cast a spell, you need to be able to take a hit while healing someone. Your focus and pain is understandable why you're losing focus. I I had my growing pains with magic as well. But you will have to be able to focus beyond it. I think I understand. Live in the now, not the then. Can you do me a favor? Do you once again focus on the flower? Oh, um, I was going to have Arbor hold my crossbow. Right. Even though the runes are kind of an important aesthetic to using the spell, for me, it's becoming too much of a physical distraction from an attachment standpoint. If you were planning on role-playing that, feel free to do so. Okay. I didn't mean yeah. to interrupt. No, you're good. Arbor, can you do me a favor? What is it? Can you hold my crossbow? Well, if I'm going to hold your crossbow, you're going to have to hold something else. You need an item to focus on that is important to you. On second thought, give it back. Here you are. <laughs> A few deep breaths. Here we go. Remember, feel the earth beneath you and the air filling your lungs. And as you breathe out, imagine the spell coming from your hand. You are more, more so breathing out the magic and less the air.
concentrate again. That's what I'm doing. This time, you don't try to think about the things you did previously. You think about what Arbor was saying. Think about how he talked about he struggled as well. So it must be normal, but feel a small twinge in your arm and you remember that you had told him you were in pain and it was disrupting you and he may have had his growing pains, but that can't have been this. And you start to falter. But then you concentrate again. <laughs> you try to move past, just like Arbor said. You feel the energy leave your hands. Now, Aristides, does the spell succeed? My eyes are closed. That I have to. I'd have to ask Arbor. But I'm asking you. You have player. to roll. Oh, I have to roll. Um, there is no roll associated with oh. this. All right, oh. my bad. Okay. <laughs> does the spell succeed? Um. <clears throat> Almost works, but right at the very end, I lose focus. Uh, I see as Arbor because you watch the flower begins to have life restored to it. You watch as the wilted petals begin to spread towards the sun, and you're so proud in Aristides for pushing past you saw the conflict in his face he wears his heart on his sleeve you look at it you get ready to tap him on the shoulder and show him what he has done successfully and you look back down the flower is beginning to wilt back away You did really good this time. You almost made it alive again. Even more so than the last. But it's still not enough. But it's dying slower. Each step is still progress. That's what matters here. I think I just need to go for a walk right now. I need to let whatever is built up inside of me just out. Understood. Aristides stands up really quickly, kind of angrily, or not angrily, um, frustratingly walks away. Punching a tree really hard. Alright. How does Arbor react? Arbor sits and waits. He knows he's gonna come back. He just says, if you need me, yell. I will. With uh, Aristides w walking away, do we bump into each other while patrolling, or...? They're still out in the woods, however. Yeah, we're, we're like, far away. <laughs> At one point, as you passed by idly on inspection, you did see them sitting across from each other in deep concentration, and you chose not to interrupt, but you waited for a moment. There didn't seem to be anything wrong. Wait, who? You. No, oh, me. Uh, Volmer. Brandon, Brandon. Volmer. Oh, Brandon asked. Volmer, you 
Can I uh, try to find Aristides? He's there. Oh, but... I thought... Or can I go up to Aristides? In the moment, you oh, saw no. him. Like uh... He was deep in concentration. And I was this was this is this was like a previous yes this yeah. happened this happened during that you, you don't you don't see us anymore is basically what he's saying you watch and you do one more round and when you return you no longer see them okay which like did I see anything on my patrol any other than that you do hmm. what do I see? On your patrol, you paid closer attention to the inner workings of the city than the outer. Of course, you glanced towards the outer bits of the city, since that's usually where the threats are. But this time, you paid more attention to the alleys, the shadowed places, the places where things, namely morality, start to be tossed to the wayside. You watched vigilantly. You did not see anyone enter an alley or exit an alley. But you swore for just a split second when you looked in one of them. The mask was there, floating as if on a body not, in fact, on a body, beckoning to you. And in the same instant, the moment you looked away and looked back, realizing what you had seen, it was gone. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So back to, I guess, Aristides. I guess, well, hang on, like, uh, oh. Brandon's, like, at the library. What is, like, a, a uh, Brandon, are you there? I'm assuming that, uh, for the moment, yes, Senor I'm, Skeg, I'm assuming Senor Skeg is doing general studies right now. Rather than uh, trying to delve deeper into research that was scarce to come across beforehand. On my patrol, can I head to uh, the? Uh, can I head to the library or the market? Yes, you can. Gonna grab some. Uh, uh, gonna grab some uh, fruit from the market, and then head to the library. Okay. What are you looking to accomplish at the library? Like to see how how uh, Sinyosuke is doing. All right. I would be probably sitting at a chair somewhere, just reading a book. Do they have Elvish texts in the library? Yes, they do. Okay, I will be just reading an Elvish text. All right. And I'll probably be just muttering my in myself to Elvish, just reading. Greeting, uh, greetings, old, gray, and probably crazy. I, I, didn't know this. I, I was reading, and I'm starting to read. Ingle. <clears throat> oh, hey there, Volma. What brings Hello. you here? Got some uh, fruit, if you need any. I just had some breakfast. I feel fine at the moment. Yeah, suit yourself. Here to just bug an old wizard, then. Yeah, I guess they are. What exactly have you been uh, researching? Oh, just um, basic texts here and there. Ah, Elvish. I'm surprised to find that they have some Elvish texts in here. This is a sort of a um, tome on the future of mankind, written by some weird Elvish fellow. You say Iranda or Roton tar Nagala no Ingdale. In the age of man, there is no magic. And like as he's uh, as he's uh, saying this, I start like falling asleep. <laughs> I suppose um, 
people like you don't really indulge in such um, interesting historical tales? How do you know if they are historical? It could just be fiction. Can I confirm this, Orion? Uh, I mean, you wouldn't know. The texts are in Elvish. You don't. I, I know Elvish. Oh, you know Elvish? Yeah. Remember? Oh, okay. Um, I, it's my, it's one of my languages. My apologies. I was raised I, in an Elvish. I I didn't remember that. That's on me. <laughs> um, it from the title and what you can see. Uh, it does sound like uh neither necessarily fiction nor nonfiction, but rather a predictive uh assertion in the form of a book. Uh, it's more of a uh, scholarly uh paper. It deals with the hypotheses of by looking to the past, we may incur what will happen in the future. Or infer, not incur, sorry. We may infer what will happen in the future. Yeah, this page believes that, bef as you can know, before uh, well, the beginning of mankind and the beginning of most races in uh, the world, there was no magic until the, uh, until the creatures graced us. The gods have graced us with our ability to use magic. Ah, but as you know, Traces his magic from the nature spirits and from the gods of nature. I draw my magic from the aether, right? Uh, from the weave. A little I bit of a history lesson. Weave. All out of character here. Mm -hmm. uh, before the gods, the world existed in an elemental chaos. Oh. Constantly shifting, but not completely gone it was okay. not magic per se and there were creatures that thrived in such an environment ancient creatures that may or may not still exist okay however the gods came and tamed this land and so, and so the age of arcanum began this tome believes that soon enough as we no longer accept our gods for who they are, our ability to use magic will be completely nullified. It also says that the, lo the more we, the less we uh, worship our gods, and the less that we uh, you take the gifts that they have given to us, the more we prepare our universe for the catastrophe that. That is not unlike when the four of the gods came into existence. It's quite an interesting read. I recommend that you pick it up sometime. So I might. So oh. I might. Indeed. What kind of elvish what kind of stories do you like, uh Vishara? Oh sorry, um Palmer. Who? <laughs> My character. <laughs> I I read the wrong name. Uh, uh, Vama, what kind of stories do you like out there? Uh, never really uh, got too much into books. Uh, those were more of my brother's sort of thing. More, I was more into the into sword fighting. But you are very educated, are you not? Yes, I am educated. I mean, not very much good. my brothers, but you know, you know. I had, I had been around with a bunch of elves too. Tell me, who was your father? Uh, he's the head of the uh, Norleth family. He manages uh, trade around here. Oh yes, I think I've run into a few of his uh, trading companies. I think I've also seen the man himself in his uh, kingdom, when I've traveled there. Quite a nice dude. What? Wait a oh second. my! My, what? my wizard's a traveler. Wait, he, he, no, but like, no. so he, he doesn't his own family a manages trade within the city. Within the yeah. city, so I would just not see like a he trade own his own kingdom. in the wild. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't no, own his he own kingdom. It would have been if you had been in this town 
mm-hmm. when you and uh, Aristides had initially had your uh, run-in that Aristides, or not Aristides, my bad, Arbor, uh, that Arbor had alluded to uh, oh. in previous sessions. Oh, yeah. If that was in this town, then it would be possible that you had met the head of House Norleth. I have had the head of House Norleth. Huh? Not a nice fellow. You take you take very well after my him, my friend. He's a completely different I don't... race. He's a completely different race. Despite being a completely different race, he takes well after him in mannerisms and stuff like that. Yeah. That was out of character in case you, yeah. you were confused. Yeah. I know. You know, Velbe. At a very young age I was also raised by elves. Traveling nomadic wood elves, to be in fact. As where I, as that is with who I am uh, deal with most nowadays. Just a lot. Well, yes, I do. I've been to pretty much every single corner of this island at this point, though it is a very small island and there really isn't too much to see. Tell me, have you noticed any like, like uh, tr- any big like uh, any places where tieflings are? Hmm. How to think? Most likely, there... the answer would be no. The answer would be no. There, even even in places where they're more common, you don't venture into cities frequently enough to really see a tiefling community, so to speak. You know, I have seen one, maybe two tieflings out there in the city, but I haven't seen many of uh, many smudge communities of tieflings out there. You are a true rare breed in this uh, in this continent. Although I will say that there are much larger tiefling communities out to the east of the island. Is that true? Would be something he would have heard. Not necessarily mm-hmm. true or false. Okay. Or, or maybe, w- would it be something that I read? It would be something you either read or was told by someone else, yeah. Or at least that's what I've read. So take that with a grain of salt. It's alright. So it's been a while since Aristides went on his walk. Yes. I tell Finch to go look for him. Where has Aristides found himself? I have found myself practicing with my crossbow. I found an old withered target that somebody used for training at some point. Not my mother, but just somebody in, who's been in that uh, same general spot. And I've just been practicing my aim kind of as a way to blow off steam. Right. Um, I know I'm at somewhere, but uh, can I, like, go ahead and just sort of, like, be in this moment with uh, Aristides or no? Oh. You're in a library. You're in a library half, like, two miles away. I was just just thinking of something clever. That was Um, was it. If if, if you say no, then... I would say it did take a very long time uh, for the process of teaching and meditation in the way that Arbor wanted to do it. It would not be unreasonable if you were pointed in the direction that they were at by Volmer for you to perhaps stumble upon Aristides. Hmm. Um... I, I suggest uh, be careful what you say. It seems like they are a bit of a, in the middle of an emotional moment. No, that's just Aristides. No, that's, that's just, uh, that's from afar, though. the yeah. scene probably looked pretty emotional. Oh, yeah. looked pretty emotional. I think I know exactly what I can do to help the situation. I walk towards. You don't even know what the situation is. Like, <laughs> I have so many questions. Well, my character it would just kind of want to help. You know, but you don't know, like. I mean, you could ask. It would. I. I would say that the line would be more along the lines of, "Maybe I'll go see if they need help." 
We'll go safety need help. Yep. Right. So I imagine myself as I'm walking towards Aristides, I can okay. see him practicing shooting shots. Yes. So you watch as Aristides shoots so a shot. If you now see five crossbow bolts sitting in the withered target, old enough that you can barely even make out the lines of where the scoring system would be should it be in a competition, but there is no competition. It's only I imagine Aristides myself training. Doing this. As he Aristides shoots walks his... forward in a huff to grab I'll wait until he bolts. shoots his next shot. You'll wait until he shoots his next shot? Yep. Alright. You and see as... him pull aim after pulling the bolt back. He breathes in. You hear the sound of a crossbow releasing its mechanism. The trigger being pulled, the bolt flying. I cast I cast magic missile to try to hit the same place that he hit. Why? Right. Why? Yeah, why? Why? Because it's cool. Just scare the hell out of me? The bolt lands. Yes. Aristides. You pick the belt you pick the bolts back up. You go another round. Your head still isn't clear enough. You can do better. You take a deep breath, you shoot, and you watch as your bolt lands. You don't even register it for a minute as three swirling bolts of energy slam into the target around it. And then you register. You saw that in the battle. How goes it, my good friend Aristides? Nice enough to see you training your bow at this time of day. Don't scare me like that, please. (laughs) <laughs> can i uh, go up to them like uh, like i got some fruit if you need anything um, i would say you always are fun can i ask i'll come finches? back to you volmer and arbor okay so what seems to trouble your mind my good friend i'm trying to learn to spell and ah learning spells you know i'm quite proficient in teaching myself just ask whatever you need. Ask me anything. Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still angry all the time. And I'm in so much pain, both physically can and I, emotionally. Maybe. Hmm. Can I, and, I see. I see. Can I say something out of character? Sure. Yeah. Um, this may be tiny bit selfish. Um, I wanted, I don't know where this is going, but I wanted Snowbeard to teach. Now, I'm not going to control this, but I wanted Snowbeard to teach like the academics and like, this is how you do it. And that's how he learns magic. But I still wanted Arbor to be there for like the emotional stuff. Well, Perhaps I'm I'm, that I'm, I'm, okay. I'm more just venting. That's fair. Sorry for just interrupting. No, just no, no, you're good. Mm. Perhaps there's there. another way to because do it. The way I'm playing this out, this is out of character. The way I'm playing this out is right now, Snowskeg is kind of a mental support figure in the moment, mm-hmm. but. I am still, Aristides is still fully counting on Arbor to teach him the spell. Okay, so right now the roles seem to be swapped. Got it. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. All right. Go for hmm. it. Perhaps your anger may be able to help you with this, whatever it is. Do I okay. overhear this? Hold on. Do I character again. Do I overhear Finch this? Again. Be, Finch would be on his way right now. I would like to give just uh, something out of character as mm-hmm. an idea. I am completely screwing up my mind. Uh, okay. It's all right. Um, for Sinyoskeg, he would know 
that certain types of magic do rely very heavily on inner balance. The magic of certain uh, people who do not need a weapon to fight, who can excel by using the spirit of body and mind, but also people who work in more natural fields such as druids. The spirituality is a big part, but the opposite is true for those who utilize the weave. For those people, anger can be a conduit, a way to fuel spells. Perhaps in Sinyoskeg's younger days, he used anger as a conduit himself. All right. I will let you roleplay. Anger can be used as a conduit as well. What kind of say? What kind of spell was Arba trying to teach you? You don't know. You don't. Hold on. I'm sorry. Once again. Wait. What? Uh... I. My name was Arba's name was never mentioned yet. You just said I was trying to learn a spell, and then. And then, well, you're, okay, you're the only okay, other person. Okay, okay, all black okay, all black I'll give him the benefit of the doubt here. You two were alone. Okay, all yeah. right. You two were alone, <laughs> and, and you're probably like, and you're one of the only people. Who Sorry, when I when I hear plot only, holes, it like immediately it. annoys me. All it's right. it's not mm. it's not a very difficult reach to assume that he could infer. Sorry, that <laughs> was the one trying well, to teach okay. him. The other, and you are the druid. The other thing is. He said conduit too, as if there was another conduit that was mentioned, but there wasn't. But whatever. I'm just That's being true. tricky at this point. Well, I did mention the physical pain, but I don't think that really counts. Hmm. So, tell me again, what is it the spell that you are trying to learn? A healing spell. Healing spell, hmm. You know, I remember when our days of old, young, I remember. In my days of old, young. The days of young, I remember my <laughs> mentor trying to teach me some spells too. It took me a while to learn too, but I found that that it doesn't. You don't have to have only happy feelings when dealing with magic like this. What you have to do is focus on. What matters most to you at that time? I know, but every time I try to focus on that feeling, it makes me angrier, and I get more and more frustrated. Mm -hmm. Thus, perhaps your me anger fail. could be the conduit of your of your magic. You see, Arba teaches you how to handle the spirits of nature and the spirits of this world to their magic, but I find that to be far too limiting to potential. You see, there is a force out there. The weave, we call it. People like Arba say it is not natural, but I disagree with otherwise. For it is as part of this universe as anything else. To order the cast of magic well, all need wants you to do is simply have connection to this force. A sort and of inter- Intent or soul link with it. And I'm trying my hardest to connect with it, but I just you can't. I am I would assume that you're learning from the druid. He teaches you with how to connect with the nature spirits of this world. I can teach you how to teach you how to connect with the spirits of the worlds far beyond. Hopefully that might be easier for you. Maybe, but I did specifically ask Arbor, and I don't think he would care, but mm. I think I'd rather learn from him first. As you wish. For now. For now. As you wish. My, he then just sits down and just ponders about his past. All right. 
Volmer. Aristides walks back to Arbor. Volmer, did you follow into the woods? I was going to have an RP moment about my parents, but okay. He he can just do that. We'll get to that in a minute. Wait, hold on. Into the woods with no skag? What's up? I was with no skag. We we went uh, and and he did all all this thing. What do you mean back into the woods? I'm sorry. Your mic is very low. Oh, I'm sorry. uh, Okay, let me turn up a bit. It was better for a minute. Oh. Yeah, you're fine now. Okay, yeah, uh, so repeat that again. Uh, how was it? Going to the woods? I was with Sinyosuke, uh, you know. So you had gone with Sinyosuke and you had shown him where you saw Arbor and Aristides. Yeah. And then he walked into the woods saying, I'll see what I can do to help. Did you walk into the woods as well? With Sinyoskeg? Not necessarily with Sinyoskeg, as he had already started walking, but did you also walk into the woods? Yes. Yes, you did. All right. I'll be right back, actually. I'm going to do the LP. Right. And, like, wait, wait, like, did I see that whole thing with uh, Sinyoskeg and uh, Aristides? No, you did not. You lose Sinyoskeg almost immediately upon entering the woods. Oh, damn it. He's wandered off, but it doesn't take you very long to find Arbor. He's not exactly hiding. <laughs> Do I find Arbor as well? Uh, I thought you were just sitting. No, no, this no. Is, you, this is this is while, stirring while you. Uh, this is while you were talking with Aristides. Gotcha. Anyways, I walk up to Arbor, reach in my fruit bag, grab a piece of fruit, and I said. Banana? One one? Banana? Banana. As I am in meditation, it, um, the all of a sudden jerk of noise <laughs> frightens me a little bit. I shall lay lay my staff and I, and I look at it and I'm like, oh. Sure. <laughs> I'll, 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 just banana. I'll take I'll take a banana, sure. Oh, it's you. Sure, I'll take a banana. <laughs> so what was with that whole thing between uh, you and Ar- and Aristides? I don't think it's my place to speak. He's trying to learn a spell. He asked me. That is all you need to know. Still going. For, uh, let me guess. He's still going through some form of emotional trauma. Wait, hang on. Uh, do, do I know that it was his uh father that died? Did we mention this one? Yeah, you guys said. I was gonna say you were you were there. You when we, you were uh, there. Had that whole I, it's, 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 ceremony. I'm sorry, it's been a few. It's okay. Yeah, let me guess. But uh, yes, you would know. He's grieving about his father, isn't he? As, as many people are. I'm guessing that is hindering his progress to learn this spell. It's I'm not, sorry, I don't know too much about magic. It's not hindering any progress, no. It is, it's part of learning magic. To be able to brunt the pain that you're feeling and still be able to focus and empty your mind is what magic is. He's just having growing pains. That is all. And sometimes those growing pains start off a little rougher than others. And what are you doing here? Just simply meditating? Yes. Thinking about something? Meditation is thinking about nothing. Well. (laughs) Sorry if I don't know much about uh, magic. People in my family used magic, but I was not allowed to use that stuff. 
No. Well, that's a darn shame. It's pretty fun. Oh, so yeah. I said, like, uh, I've grown sort of a disdain towards magic, especially during a embarrassing incident I'd rather not talk about. Fair enough. I just go back to meditating. All right. I, as as he's met, I try to uh, imitate him. <laughs> right. um, if you want to meditate, just I can guide you through it. Okay. Might uh, okay. help pass the time. So. So how how do I go about doing this? Do I do I need to say something? Do I need to chant something? Do I need to get into a certain sitting position? Or so just kneel down or take a sitting position that you find most comfortable. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. And inhale and exhale. <sighs> count the seconds of your inhale and count the seconds of your exhale. The only thing one, on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In your head. <laughs> Volmer's just like, oh. May I ask where Finch is at this point? I was about to get to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you meditate for an amount of time. Time sort of falls away as you meditate. You feel Finch land lightly on your shoulder. I have to remember how that specific part of Circle of the Shepherd works. Give me a moment. <laughs> like, uh, while I'm meditating, like, occasionally, once in a while, an annoyingly catchy song gets stuck in my head for a bit. Like, god dang it. Um... Even before when you understood Sylvan, hmm. Finch was a little more intelligent than most birds. Mm -hmm. And now you hear, you open your eyes and look at it, at him. And Finch lays a full sentence to you through the noises and emotions. The chirping. The words come across. Aristides has settled down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Finch. It's surprising that you can talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> um... Out of character, all I was imagining was like, you know how Pikachu does gestures in, in Pokemon? To a little like, bit, a little bit. That's not quite as obvious. Like, that's what I was imagining, like a cartoon version of Finch just like waving his Aww. arms and relaying the sentence. <laughs> um, so, back in character. Finch, do you think he... You would like me to visit him? I think he would like that a lot. Very well. I get up without telling the Wolver. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, behind. and I start walking in the direction that uh, Finch told me. Or Finch came from. Finch okay. flying slowly. You and Arbor, this this really is comfortable. Arbor? Oh right, I'm not supposed to talk. <laughs> Circling up around you and then back down, guiding you 
towards the withered target that Aristides was practicing on. Finch leads you to Aristides. Hello there. Hello. How's it going? Want to take a look at my target? Ah, I see some magic was used on it. As I, look I was still back, sitting there, right? Yeah, yeah, you're still there. It's just as I look back to also, yeah, also he's here. Yeah, I, I, I see that. As I look back to, um, snow, and I say, so what did you tell him? What you needed to hear, I believe. I think you I told think him. Needed to hear. I think you told him the opposite of what he needs to hear. How so? He needs to be able to live and move on, live in the present and not the past. He must be able to do this, what, regardless is of if he's learning magic for it or not. The purpose of today for me was to help him through his struggles. I don't think you told him what he needed to hear. What did you tell him? I told him to empty his mind and focus on nothing but the present. To work through his feelings and be able to understand them. What did you tell him? That no matter the, what the motion it is, he needs to focus on whatever will help him in his quest for power. This is not whether about that power. Is peace, anger, This or is not about such. power. Then what is it about? Tell me, Druid. Well, you of all people should know that when it comes to helping others, a calm mind is the best thing. I suppose in my old age, I have grown a little more cynical in certain things. And when, it, and, it, and when it comes to being happy and healthy, a calm mind is what you need. This was about helping him, not I, necessarily with magic. I disagree. I find that it is with strong feelings of emotion that we would be able, able to help each other. It is through balance that you can be able you, to help each other. Whether it be other. strong things of love, for helping each other's in desperate need, or it be strong points of anger where the power is needed to defeat one else. I find that whatever emotion suits the best for whatever thing you need, that is what you focus on. I know you are concerned about balance. But sometimes the pendul a little swing in each direction of the pendulum. Even for a brief even if it's just for a brief moment, that might be able to aid humanity better. A brief moment can kill bag. many people. And it can aid countless others. Keeping it where it is will do no harm. And yet, keeping it where it is will not let humanity progress any further. Sometimes it is when the pendulum swings, it is when the moments of change happen. And I believe that it is our job to embrace such change for what it is, 
not as something that must be trifled with. To keep balance is our job. To keep Your... neutrality, to keep peace, is our job. There is a thing as too much good. Just as there is a thing of as too much evil. I'm trying to think of some other things to say, actually. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out some good arguments. This is super cool, though. Yeah. Hmm. You guys are fighting over me. <laughs> I'm like an attention-craving child. <laughs> you know, if more people acted like you, Arba, there would be no more... How do I put this? He's going to be like... How do I make this the least offensive sounding thing, but still make it super offensive? <laughs> if more people were acting like you, Abba, people would lose all sense of morality, all sense of hope, all sense of love and passion they had for each other, for art, for music, for life, for... Neutrality does not else. mean lack of love. Neutrality does well, not mean lack put... of good. Well, Neutrality how... means you... equal good and it. equal bad. There is no lack of anything. There is an equal amount of everything. That is what neutrality is. Do not lecture me on neutrality. Do not lecture me on emotion. For you barely even know it. My character just physically gets angry. And just casts... Uh, my character gets angry, casts fireball on the... Uh, um, firebolt. Firebolt on the uh, tree and just leaves a burn mark. Why don't you aim for the target? I did. You said a tree. Yeah, I did aim for the target and I hit it. Yes. My, pro my point proven, because if you did know something about emotion, you would know how to control it. My character is just kind of... How would you do away? My character just kind of walks back and just goes back to the library. Last time ever trusting a druid to anything. And he just kind of walks back to do whatever, like library or something like that. Everything okay over here? My character is no longer there. He's just... I know, I'm talking to Arbor. Yeah, everything's fine. You sure? Because he just burnt up my target. Not that it was any more visible than it was now. Yes, he may be a powerful mage, but he never learned the lessons of how he, having to keep inner peace. I'm sure he told you about conduits and blah, 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 blah. He does that when he gets drunk at a bar, too. <clears throat> and how emotions can be used as conduits. You would be correct. Now... The problem with that is you become so used to anger or you become so used to an emotion being a conduit that you don't know any other way to cast it besides that emotion. I think I understand. If you learn how to heal through anger... You will not be able to treat anyone when you are not angry. Hey, uh, DM? 
I'm trying to think of an answer to come up with. Sorry, it was just... No, you're it's good. It's okay to say that. It's okay to say that. While I am meditating, still meditating on the field in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so while you're do meditating I, in the forest still. Do I see something in my meditation? Do you think you see something in your meditation? Yes. What do you see? I don't know. What do you see? I don't know. <laughs> As you meditate, I am... glance around. In your mind, the sounds around you, once an intrusion into your thoughts slowly as you've been creating this space, you start to block it out. The sounds begin to go away. Though they do not leave, it more becomes a rhythm akin to the sounds you would hear, comforting sounds of morning in the barracks. Before you went out for a patrol, it becomes a comforting thing that you don't even think about. And then, as your mind empties, unsure if it's real or not, you see smiling in front of you. Who's smiling in front of me? Two tea things. A male and a female. Thank the male, you. standing. He looks proud. You're not sure proud of what? The female has her hand extended towards you. Do you reach out? Uh, yes, I try to reach out. You reach out to take the hand. And in that moment, your hand moves the one that was resting on your lap as you meditated. And you break out of it. But for just a split second, you feel like you had something, anything. And then it was gone. What the hell? I looked to my side and see, like, Arbor's gone. I was like, oh, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and as this is happening, um... I'm assuming I get Aristides' response. If he's thought of one, yes. Still working on it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um. Trust me. You do not want to heal out of anger. Arbor, I'm gonna kick your ass for abandoning me! Can I hear that? Should we <laughs> Probably not yet. Okay. Uh, is he like 30 you, feet do away? Do you still not have a response, Ryan? I'm still thinking. <laughs> is, okay. is he 30 feet away? Uh, He's probably a little further. I mean, like, I, I'm screaming very loudly. So, yeah. Like, right. you just um, hear, like, I will. You, very you, definitely, you definitely hear something muffled, but you're not entirely I sure. Will, what I the will words are. use Druid. Anything... Oh. I will use Druid Craft. To summon a will o' the wisp, thirty feet away in the direction of where he is, so he knows where I went. All right. Um. So, Aristides, you hear these things, and something clicks for you. You realize that there isn't a wrong answer. Arbor is right in saying that you can't always heal from anger. In both ways. Okay. If you only use anger to heal, you'll never truly heal. Yeah. You begin to think about that. Do you concentrate on the spell? Yes. I, I, pl I place the flower down. The, dot, the dead flower. You concentrate again. The crossbow. Now in your hands. In the firing position. But not drawn. You take this opportunity. To think about. 
the past few days what has happened. But not about the attack. You think about how you were able to help when the masked man jumped towards you and Sinyoskeg, how you were able to land good shots. You think about how scared you were when Sinyoskeg slammed down his staff, knowing Arbor would be hit. The want to protect him. You don't recognize it, but in the moment, you subconsciously say, Dad. Dad. In that, you find something. A want to protect, to preserve a life. You grasp it. Barber, you watch as the flower itself seems to be as conflicted as you believe Aristides' emotions to be. For a moment, you resign yourself, believing that it'll have to wait until another day for him to truly learn the spell. You can only hope that he will heal from this. And then you hear him whisper the word dead. And you watch. Before, when he had caused the flower to grow, it was a slow process with the flower slowly blooming. But here you watch as the flower immediately begins to grow, facing upward towards the sun. The petals extend outward, and it holds. You did it. What? You did it. Congratulations. I'm just... My jaws just dropped, and I just stand there in silence, and I just drop to my knees, and I begin crying. I pick him up. I give him a hug. I tell him. Baby steps. This is your first big leap. But there are many more to come. Thank you. It will be painful. It will be hard. But remember, I know that now. not everything will deserve your anger. That doesn't prevent you from feeling it. It's just knowing when to use it. I understand that now. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for being my student. What time is it? Real life? In game? This is in, in game. In game. Um, it would be nearing midday. Does, did Volmer see the Will of the Wisp yet? Yes, he did. Volmer, as you shout out, you do watch as a tiny lantern light flickers into existence. Not but 15 feet away. Leading towards what looks to be a small clearing. I see Arbor and Aristides get there. If you walked towards it, you would. Yes, I walked towards it. Then yes, you do yes. see Arbor and Aristides yes. in there. Okay, I have a question, uh, DM. Yes. In that meditation, like, uh, was the faces of the type uh, of the tieflings clear, or were they all muddled? It was not clear. Okay. Arbor, did you spike me with something? No, but I'm assuming you saw something by that Ooh. type of reaction. 
I gotta hear about this. You do not. <laughs> no. You would not have the capacity to say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. It does sort of it does it does begin to snap you out of the moment of sadness that you are in though. Oh, I'm not sad. I'm just really happy that I finally did. Yeah, well, it's not necessarily sad. Sorry. Sadness was the wrong word. Emotion is the word I should have used. There you go. <laughs> As I um as I see Volmer, I'm like, so, something broke you out of meditation, because you were pretty deep in it. What was it? I was back at the uh, barracks, I believe. Mm-hmm. And I uh, saw some people. They uh, reached their hand out for me. They were, uh, those two people were typelings. Ah. Uh, I felt something with them. And I reached my hand out. And the next thing I knew, I woke up, reached my hand out, oh, uh, reached my hand out to the middle of nowhere, but turned my right, and you were gone. Yes, I did not want to disturb your meditation. It'd be quite helpful, you know? And I'm assuming you found the Will of the Wisp? Yes, yes, I did. Well, shall we get moving? Yes, yes, yes. We should probably go find snow. Eggs, yeah. Uh, let me just. Um, can I roleplay a little bit? Yes, go for it. Uh, why would I ask to roleplay? Um, as I am walking back from like that argument, I was just kind of, you know, very sort of angry, I guess. Um, and I just, and all I can just do is just kind of remember, um, it was a long time ago, but it was still, it was just when I was a child, but it was still vivid in my mind about how my elvish parents were adopted. My adopted Elvish uh, parents um, were murdered in a um, tragic hunting accident, and I always felt, and I never grieved properly. I always felt anger for their murder, and I remember myself back to my teacher, teaching me how to use acts of love and care for healing and stuff, and acts of extreme. And to channel my hatred for use of combat. And to use whatever emotion I have to sort of cast my magic as sort of a sort of, what was it called? Conduit. Conduit. Um, and such, I have never learned balance at all. Just kind of thinking to myself about that and how I knew that my parents were adopted parents and I had never known my real parents at all or what made me different I guess still trying to think about how to explain this I think you did a wonderful job hmm. yeah and as I do this, I just go under a tree and I sort of think for a bit under a sort of a tree. Um, I guess what kind of tree would it be? Um, sort of like Perhaps a... you find a small body of water with a willow hanging over it. Yes. And I remember, I guess, being taught how to fish and sort of all that nonsense and I um, bring out my pipe of course um, and smoke it just to sort of try to get whatever feelings that I have 
at a way I get yeah I basically use my pipe as a sort of a coping mechanism um uh, blowing out smoke rings that turn into birds to interact with all the real birds out there just kind of just and I just sit there just kind of can we see him focus just trying to forget all the days that happen just right. focusing on the smoke rings that I'm turning into other things like birds and you shit. watch as the smoke rings fly up become birds twirling in the sky with each other with other birds they fly circle break away and dissipate and seeing this almost brings a smile to my face you know but I'm you still hear the pain nature all around you you don't even recognize that one of the birds that was circling with yours was finch you hear coughs of a horse approaching and then nothing at all you turn over your shoulder and see three other members of your party there but you don't hear anything i assume you're right about some things i never really did learn balance in my heart when i was a young boy my when i was a baby i my was left on the footsteps of a few wood elvish nomads. There's where they raised me to become a man. Uh, bird thing. Um, <laughs> bird I was trying to make thing. some symbols, but they didn't really. I was trying to make some noises, but it didn't come through the mic. Anyway. So you took a pump on your pipe, I'm mic. assuming. Yes. I actually heard it. Okay. When I was roughly hmm, 10, I think. Yeah, 10. My uh, parents and I were went to home to go on the huts. You know, wood elves. The big, big hunts where they take large amounts of game and they're able to feed a family for to all throughout the winter. Well, during one of these campaigns, we were attacked by beasts fiends from the world. That is the last time I ever saw them. When I was, I never stopped being angry over my parents' murder. That is when my mentor took me along and told me how to use magic. Told me how to use everything that I felt to aid my magic, whether it be love for the family that I once had and still have with the Wood Elf tribes, mind you, but hate and anger that I felt on that day for whatever purpose I needed it for. I suppose I suppose you won't forgive me for teaching Aristides how to use his anger, use his emotions for magic. No, because you never did. Saying the I... words are not the same thing as teaching. I suppose... I suppose by magic, although just as natural as you might not say, does has a tendency to lead certain others towards darker paths. My mentor once told me of a lot of students of his that went to darkness. 
became a necromancer. He never spoke of him kindly. That far I'll tell you. There are a few things in life that prevent me from taking such path. After every encounter I have, I have to find a place like this. Get on my pipe. And let's look and watch as what I can do as the magic sort of brings beauty to this world. And as I do this, um, I take one big huff of my pipe and just blow out. I take one small puff of my um, pipe and I blow out a ring. Just a normal smoke ring. Then I take one big puff and blow out a ring that turns into a ship that sails straight through that ring and into the unknown. The differences between our magics are vast. You pluck at the weave as if it's your harp. And that's the problem. That you think it's your harp. While my version of magic requires me to commune with the things around me and to understand them. This is not mine that I'm using. It is everything around me that I am using. My weave is in the roots of the trees. It's not my harp. You see, I never like looked at that like that. I looked at it as more sort of like you with nature, only with me and the weave. Actually, I take that back. I, 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 I never said that. I take it back. Perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps you're right. The weave is a tool for me. But all tools have their purpose. And in time, I will learn how to use it properly. Well, that being said, what next, my friends? Still takes his still smokes and does that stuff. Well, we are still figuring in that part. Well, let's see. Would you like to show him Aristides? Druid crafts a dead flower. Um Maybe another time. I'm feeling quite tired. After that. That was an actual yawn, by the way. Out of character. That was an actual yawn. <laughs> so that was good timing. Yep. Um, I didn't realize how much energy magic can take out of you on your first few tries. You were not kidding, Barber. I take out a piece of fruit and I and I give it to Aristides saying, Apple. Thank you. That was me biting you. That, that, it's, a, it's an empty water bottle. Just pretend that was me biting an apple. I knew that was a water bottle. I was like, why is he using that? <laughs> it's all good. I get it. Um, um, and I you tell all... Aristides. Did someone replace I... all the apples with plastic? <laughs> as, you, as you all begin to ponder what to do next, all of a sudden, once again, all of the volume fades out, but this time it is not only for Sinyoskeg, but also 
for the entire party. You see oh, no. Volmer, the mask in the shadows again. Oh no. Looking down at you. That's where I I'm tried, gonna end I, tonight's I just... session. Oh, come on. Oh, oh that was good. That was good. Yeah. <sighs> it was another one where I was like, I could start a combat, but I can't in good conscience interrupt this amazing RP. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's all good, though. There was really... Yeah. All right. There were a lot of moments I really liked from this. Well, like, we can talk about that. We can talk, we can talk about, about it Friday uh, another time. Yeah. Yes, on Friday. Uh, Which is basically just D and D replay at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Which is fine. What? Which is fine. Yeah, I'm oh, fine. Shoot, I never updated the uh, <laughs> stream name. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Why you say you've been doing this for too long? You can't make mistakes. Yeah. Uh, well, I did update the stream name. It must have reset when I launched Streamlabs. That's yeah, a thing for another time, happens. though. Uh, right, I'm going to yeah, end the stream really here. Strange. Thanks for Thank watching, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, please make sure to follow uh, everyone on their respective pages, which you should be able to find uh, by going to twitch.tv slash exploSheep. Uh, they're all amazing do... people. Should we do a quick plug, just in case? Uh, I'd prefer not to, just for okay. ease of closing my stream, but after I do so, if you'd like to plug it on your stream, Eric, that's fine. I kind of just um, want to head to bed. <laughs> all right. Uh, and uh, aside from that, make sure you all are staying safe. Make sure you all are being courteous and kind to each other. And... Is it Wednesday yet? Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Yeah. All right.